Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. All right, this is going to be a fun time right here on Outdoors with Larry Ray on this uh, June the 3rd, uh, 2017. Going to spend a little time here in this segment, 274-797. Maybe you've been uh, a part of one of our fishing rodeos, and you'd like to talk a little bit about maybe something. Maybe you won one of the championships or something along that line. But the next guy's going to come maybe on with us. Maybe you ate your bait. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the next guy's going to be on with us has not missed too many fishing rodeos. I know he loves kids, and he sent me a text message just a few minutes ago, said, uh, got a cup of coffee and standing by for your call. So we got him on now, Carl Graham. Good morning, Carl. Larry Ray, it is a great day to be alive. It, it is a great day to be alive. And, uh, <laughs> of course, we're in the uh, inner sanctums of Intercom Radio here where all we can see is uh, is ugly people around us. You know, that's, <laughs> no. Kind of a seventh cent. Yeah, know, yeah, we're in thing. here. So, uh, <laughs> no, it's good to talk to you, Carl. And I know yeah. you've, got, you've got great memories from this fishing rodeo, and uh, uh, you might pass along what, what makes fishing rodeo so important. Well, Larry, it, it is so wonderful. I look forward to it every year. The smiles on, on the, the kids' faces and so much joy is brought into their lives and everything. And uh, and I just, I love it. You know, for a person that wants to see happy people, yeah. the fishing rodeo is where to go. And and, uh, and this, this is a, you know, you can make a memory that will last forever at one of these fishing rodeos. Some of these, I love to see these maybe... Uh, six, seven-year-old uh, little girls that catch a big old catfish out there, mm-hmm. and the the look on their face is just priceless. And uh, for a parent that wants to bring a lot of joy into their, you know, youngster's life, this is the place to go. And it's the really place, maybe that first fish. And I know uh, 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 Gene Smith is with me, and he's got on a fishing rodeo shirt uh, uh, and, and the cap. That, and I know, Gene, the fishing rodeos, Tell us from from your angle as you listen to Carl talk about uh, the importance. Uh, why do you think fishing rodeos are important? Oh yeah, <clears throat> well one thing you get to spend time with your kids. You get to talk. You don't want to watch TV or text and yes. everything. Yeah. And I always tell them it's, it's a surprise when you pull something out of the water. You don't what, don't know what it's going to be. It could be even a turtle. Sometimes the kids try to you know bring in a stick they caught you know, or a boot or a boot or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> but uh. It's, that one kid, one year, he caught, what, over 20-something fish in an hour and a half? Yes, yeah. We figured yeah. he caught one every three minutes. Yes. I mean, but he, he was in a honey hole, and he he, he was hot, he was really hot that day. And, Carl, I know that uh, you're, you're over in Corinth now and uh, drive over for this, and uh, a lot of folks have been asking how Carl Graham's doing. You had a little uh, health deal there, so how are you doing? Man, I'm doing fantastic. I had a little ablation surgery, on, and I and, uh, got my heart beaten uh at a regular rate now and, and they're just just feeling better by the day and uh but you know i'm thinking about the the fishing rodeo for folks that's getting ready to come out or planning to go to it uh-huh. cat catfish generally wins this tournament y'all gonna have some more catfish put in the lake like you generally do well we're gonna put uh dave probably what uh thousand pounds or so something like that uh, eight eight hundred pounds of, it'll be more than 500. It'll be more than 500 pounds. And these catfish, Dave, they come from the hatchery, I guess. Or How, how do we do this? And, uh, well, uh, you know, the, we some, buy of the, this. some of the catfish that are bought you know, from a private vendor, but uh, I was talking to Hunter earlier this week, which he'll be a guest on a little later. I forgot how many catfish they're holding in the race right ways. Oh, uh, my goodness. The and they, it, because, it, uh, you know, this week, you know, Let's get ready, Ty. Yeah, that, that, his hatchery trucks will be on the road every day, probably from Tuesday. And there's some good sized f- catfish in there, right? You know, there's there's some excellent fish. Well, I, Carl, I know that uh, you make the journey down here and to see these little kids. Carl, we're going to do something different. We're going to announce it right now with Carl Graham on the line that uh, we're going to have a, a a kids fishing rodeo, a real kids 
fishing rodeo, right, Dave? What are we going to do? Well, we changed it. You know, we, you know, I'm like Carl. You know, he's talking about, you know, taking a kid fishing and having fun and seeing the joy on a on a, on a child's face and everything. And what has bothered me over extended periods, yeah, okay. over extended period of this, I don't want. I, I'm tired of this competition type stuff. Yeah, I want people to come out, families to come out, and have a good time. I don't care if the parents assist the kid in casting. You know, like you know, for years this, this rodeo had to rule. You can't. The parents can't do it. No, you know, we changed that this year. Come out and help the child. You know, assist get it out there when yeah. you've got that many kids yeah. fishing in that small. It's it to me. It's a it's a safety factor. Too. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know. You know, to get get it out there and let them fish, and then that way, uh, you know, the kid catches it and help reel it in. You know, help. You know, the parent can help net the fish and everything else. And uh, since we wanted to do that, you know, we bumped it down into a five year old. We're going you know? to have here, Carl, this year for the first time ever in rodeo history. Uh, uh-huh. We are not going to make it competition. We're not going to give points out for fish and things along that line. We're going to let the kids fish, have a good time. Uh, we're not going to worry about anybody cheating, which, oh, mm-hmm. heaven, mm-hmm. heavens to be, if they'd ever do that at Fish and Rodeo. Yeah. But we're just <laughs> going to let the kids fish. We're going to let it go from 5 to 12 instead of the normal 6 to 12. And we're going to draw a name out of everybody there. You better stick around to, mm-hmm. to win the trip you know, to the Blue Bank Resort. If, and we're going to still weigh in big fish if we're they want. Say, if you catch a big fish, you want it weighed in. We'll do that. Yeah. And so it's going to be a family day of fishing. And I know, Carl, that to you uh, is what this is all about. Absolutely, Larry. And, and uh, a couple of tips that I'd like for the person that is thinking about fishing this rodeo is catfish generally wins it, and you can go to a local tackle or uh, one of the places around town and tell them you're going to fish a fishing rodeo and they will outfit you and, and tell them you're going to be fishing for catfish. Yeah. They sell catfish bait, catfish hooks, sinkers, bobbers, rods, reels. You can get the whole, everything you need at uh, just walk into there and tell them what you're doing. And a lot of, they have folks that can help you. And, and, uh, and here's something else that's very important. Some folks that's never been out there, they don't know, how to tie a knot? If they'll, <laughs> yeah. if they'll, the Google improved cinch knot. That's the uh, look yeah. on the internet and and Google improved cinch knot. That you know, uh, Larry. Not everybody like you and me can tie the knots and all that stuff. They they feel sort of intimidated, but they can learn the knot and 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 just uh, they. Some things that, that would help them out is a pair of pliers and some and a, a stringer and and you know just little. Uh, I've seen people load all their stuff in a little wagon and and roll it that's down right. the hill. That's, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know and and have little uh, chairs and and they need to have a good hat and some sunscreen and 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 just you know uh, maybe an ice chest and it's just a little. These little things makes the, your morning go fantastic. And I've seen folks totally prepared with everything you could think of. And then I've seen folks show up down there with just a rod and reel, and, and they may not have a pair of pliers, or they may not have a stringer. Or but, a net. Uh, or a net. A net or is... Or a net. A, a landing net, yes. A and land. those catfish, people don't realize they're a lot of fun. You watch that cork go down, you set the hook, and it's, it, you know, it, it is fantastic to watch those kids wrestle those two pound catfish uh onto the bank it's just a joy to watch when we're gonna have folks out there that will be uh walking around the lake right. to assist not only twra some of my legacy outfitters friends and longtime fishing rodeos gene will be there uh but we're going to just let it we're going to have first fish and those kind of things and we'll have yeah, some yeah, contests yeah. And, yeah. and and we're going to have our prizes after it's over and we're going to give away that lifetime hunt and fishing license, thanks to Daniel Welch, uh, that we always have done. But uh, it, it's just going to be fun. So I never thought I would see the day when I know we've had five-year-olds 
fish in this rodeo and tell us that they're six. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's just the way it is because mm-hmm. parents, uh, but, but come out there and Carl will be there. Absolutely. Love to answer your questions. We'll probably have Carl on the PA. Uh, so, so that's next Saturday. Uh, that is June the 10th at Johnson Road Lake behind Germantown Baptist Church. And the weather on one oh, of my Oh, you weather. believe that, Tim. <laughs> oh, come on. on. One of my weather apps oh, there. Oh, my. The extended now, now, forecast. Extended. They can't do two days. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> high of 89. H- high of 89. And partly cloudy. I'm writing this down. High of 89 and partly cloudy. Okay. Because, mm-hmm. I, you know, I've got all those apps, too. And all of a sudden it says rain. That's why they put that 10% in there. You know, it, uh, rain. Oh, it's going to rain. They cover themselves. Yeah. They cover themselves. But uh, you know, I know all of our years of commercial appeal, fifty-one years. We only had stop one time, if I'm not mistaken. Exactly. Lightning. Yeah. Uh, so this rodeo has always been protected. Uh, that we've had some great weather, but like Carl said, he gave a great tip right there. Uh, be prepared. Come out there with sunscreen and a big hat. I know that uh, even oh, yeah. even when I play golf or anything like that, I forget my big hat. I pay for it on my ears, you know, and mm-hmm. things along that. But these are little kids with sensitive bodies, you know. So you're you're wanting to say something, Dave? Well, I'm just saying, you know, and, and just come out and have fun. If the kid, if y'all come out and and the youngster, you know, it's their rodeo. If he wants to fish fifteen minutes, let him fish fifteen minutes. We're not, and and there's still we encourage because, like you said, stick around. It's two hours. Yes, two hours. You nine know, to eleven. All the door prizes we give away. You well, know, we got Rod- for a lifetime license. Well, we got Rodney no. Ward wants to talk a little rodeo fishing. Good morning, Rodney. Good morning, sir. How you doing this morning? Hey, we're doing good, Rodney. What about fishing rodeos? I just wanted to say I won a bicycle in the fishing rodeo in 1965 at Ottoman Park for catching the big fish that year. Good no, night. Wow. Good night. The Germantown Fourth of July tournament, and those memories you can never take away from them people. I love it. Well, I hope you're not still driving that bike, Rodney. So, uh, <laughs> hope, hope no. Can- that bike's been retired. It retired before I did, but I've been <laughs> retired a couple of years myself. All right. You going to come out next Saturday, Rodney? Planning on it. All right, buddy. We'll see you there. Thanks a lot of everything. All right? Thank you, sir. All Bye-bye. Right. See there, see, see there, Carl Graham? Yeah. And the, yes, it's, sir. Man, it, I'm I'm here at your disposal. Yeah. It, it's worth the trip just to see Eddie. Eddie Spencer. Oh, yeah. Eddie yeah. Spencer, yeah. We'll check with Eddie and make sure things are going. So we got to take a break. Carl Graham, we'll see you next Saturday. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. All right, let's take a break. Y'all ready to take a break? Hey, Amen. Hey, let's hey. go. What's a break? A let's break. keep going. Let's, let's keep going. Let's, Greg Ratliff is all day. smiles there in there. He loves but breaks. We'll be right back. Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. 